For this video, we will be talking about ENZ formation. ENZ formation only happens for alkenes, so something like this. Also a double bond, right? So before we do determine ENZ formation, we should know that these two isomer, two stereoisomers, On the left we have, on the same side, this is called cis, and on the right side we know that this is called trans, right? And so, we only do cis and trans if they have hydrogens, right? But what if we don't have hydrogens in a problem? So for example, we have this. We have this kind of problem. We see that there's one hydrogen, but on the right side, we know that there's a bromine, right? So the first thing you want to do in here is look where the double one's at, right? We know it's in the middle. So now we separate them as two sides where the double one is at. So we have a left side and then we have a right side we we're comparing. So we start on the left side. On the left side, we have a hydrogen over here. At the bottom, we have a CH3. So this thing has the same thing as the RNS configuration so it goes by atomic mass so carbon compared to hydrogen is bigger so carbon in this case is bigger so we would circle this side on the right side we compare bromine to a methyl group right ch3 bromine compared to carbon is bigger bromine has a higher atomic mass so this gets selected so when they are on different ends they are e Formation E. So if we have this problem, you see that the double one is in the middle. We want to separate it into two sides where the double one is at. So, looking at this carbon over here, we see that it's connected to a high, uh, CH3, okay? And over here, it's connected to a CH2 and a CH3, right? So, going by step on step, first thing we want to do, compare this carbon to this carbon. So, carbon and carbon is the same. Then we move back one, okay? On this side, there is nothing that we can move back, so it only has one com carbon. But if we go back on this side, we see that there is another carbon here. So it's an ethyl group, right? Ethyl group. So two carbons is bigger than one carbon. So we circle that. On the right side, we're comparing CH3 to COOH. We have C and C are the same, right? And in this case, the oxygen is bigger than uh, a methyl group, right? So that's why this side we get selected and so where when they are on the same sides it's called z formation z we have this problem First thing we want to do is look at where the double one's at. It's right here. Let me slip, split it in half. Look at each side separately. On the left side, comparing chlorine to a CH3. You know that chlorine is bigger than the carbon. Bigger than carbon. So that's why uh, this side will get selected. On the right side, we're comparing a bromine to chlorine. Bromine has a high atomic mass, then chlorine, so this side would get selected. So, on different ends, they are called E formation. 
right. Next example. Okay, when comparing these two, we see that a double bond is in the middle, right? And we split in half each side. So the left side is one and the right side is one side. On the left side, comparing a carbon to a carbon, those are the same and the hydrogen are the same. Now we compare the bromine to the oxygen. You know, bromine is bigger than oxygen, so we just select this side. Right, circle this side. On the right side, we see that we have a carbon. And we have a carbon over here. But next to it has a hydrogen compared to an oxygen over here. Oxygen is bigger than hydrogen, so that's why this side will get selected. And so this is formation B. E. Next example. So we see that the double one is over here. So now we split, split in a half where the double one's at. So on this side, we have the left side and then we have the right side. On the left side, you're comparing this chlorine to this carbon over here, right? This carbon is a, uh, a CHH, right? So it's a CH2. So carbon comparing to a chlorine, we know that chlorine is bigger. And so this would get selected. On this side, we see that we have a methyl group, CH3. But now it's compared to a hydrogen that is not shown. So we know that carbon is bigger than hydrogen as atomic mass. This side we get selected when they are on the same side. This is called Z formation. 